Namaste, beautiful goddesses. I am so delighted to share with you a love goddess meditation to fill you with self-love, to fill you with divine love, to fill you with divine soulmate love if that's your desire. If you don't know me, my name is Saima Karal. I'm from flourishinggoddess.com. I'm a divine feminine spiritual mentor, healer, and best-selling author. And I have had the blessing of helping thousands of women since 2012 flourish into the goddesses they are. And one of the things that's been um, the greatest joys of my life is empowering them in embodying divine self-love, magnetizing their beloveds, abundance, all their desires. And the core of this in many ways is self-love. So I wanted to give this gift to you because it's Beltane, which is why I'm wearing the flower crown and my birthday is on May 3rd. And I love to shower you with a gift. Uh, during this beautiful vortex this time. So for this meditation, we'll be working with beautiful goddesses, Aphrodite, Kuan Yin, Parvati, Hathor, Oshun. These are goddesses of different forms of love and you can connect with them in any way that resonates with you as divine feminine energies, expressions, as deities, whatever works for you, goddess. You just honor and enjoy and receive it in that way. And my recommendation is to practice this meditation, to listen to it every day for 40 days. That's a spiritual sadhana, and that's where you can experience deep shifts, like actual shifts, right? It goes from a meditation to deep experience and embodiment. So now just lay back, enjoy, and I'll check in with you afterwards. Namaste, beautiful goddess. This is your love goddess meditation to awaken your inner divine feminine source of love. Love is who you are and it is time to reclaim and unleash this. I'm your guide, Saima Karal of FlourishingGoddess.com. And it is my pleasure to take you through this beautiful, channeled, guided goddess meditation. To prepare, allowing yourself to get so comfortable, whether you want to lay down or sit, or even make gentle movements with softly closed eyes. At different parts, you could do whatever you want. Listen to your body. This is part of being a love goddess. With eyes gently closed, your body so comfortable, bringing your awareness so softly to your breath, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out with a sigh, and let's do that one more time. Beautiful deep breath into your chest, down into your womb, and a slower exhale and sigh. And feeling your body prepare for this meditation, for goddess meditations are an embodied experience. So relaxing your head, neck and shoulders, just letting them soften. Relaxing your back, opening your heart, your chest, softening your belly, softening through your legs your feet, your toes, your whole body just instantly knows how to relax, to let go and receive. Now as you breathe, imagine that you're breathing in beautiful divine light. This light fills you, it expands outside of you and it transforms into a bubble of light that transports you into the inner realms, the realm of the goddesses, of your own inner goddess. 
as you gently now feel the bubble come to a stop and step outside. You're greeted by beautiful goddesses and it doesn't matter if you know them. Aphrodite, Kuan Yin, Hathor, Oshun, and Bhavati, these beautiful love goddesses bring you love in different forms, self-love, self-healing love, spiritual love, romantic love, divine love, and you are ready to receive connecting with them in any way that resonates with you, remembering that goddesses are expressions of yourself, they are a part of who you are, or you may connect with them as divinities, as deities, whatever aligns with you. These goddesses welcome you into a beautiful ocean, where many of them are connected to the element of water. Aphrodite with her sea, Oshun with her river, Hathor with her Nile River, Kuan Yin with her Amrita waters, and Parvati with her Himalayan waters. So they all are connected to this beautiful healing element of water, the emotions, the womb, the feminine fluids. And they're going to use this to support you. And awakening love within yourself. They gently greet you, they give you a big hug, they love you so much, and they take you into this ocean, guiding these beautiful gentle waves of light to flow over your body. The first wave cleansing your crown chakra it connects you to the infinite and they're clearing away blocks you might have and feeling disconnected from universal love so just floating here as the goddesses hold you and they cleanse away any ways and you feel that you don't belong that you're not connected to the universe's infinite love for you. And as that false story washes away, this wave of love fills your consciousness, fills your crown chakra, opening you to the infinite love of the entire universe now. Feel it wash over you. Infinite love. And now this beautiful wave of light and love washes through the center of your forehead, your third eye, and it's cleansing away any unloving visions and thoughts you have about yourself, self-criticism, any ways in which you don't see yourself through the eyes of love, you're washing that away now, cleansing it from your mind, your thoughts, your inner vision. And as you release that, the goddesses now ring a wave of love that fills your vision that you may have loving thoughts, a loving mind, a loving consciousness. Consciousness of the love goddesses. Beautiful. And now, they move the flow of this water towards your throat, cleansing away any unloving ways in which you speak to yourself. To 
towards yourself and even others. And they're just clearing your throat chakra with this beautiful infinite love. And they now bring forth this water, this holy light to open your throat chakra that you may speak only lovingly towards yourself and speak with loving grace with others even when you were asserting your boundaries, being strong, empowered, being honest, lovingly honest. Beautiful, beloved, and now the goddesses flow this water through your heart, filling your heart, clearing it of any ways in which you've blocked love, self-love, romantic love, divine love. These holy waters cleansing away any ways in which you feel unloved, unlovable, even blocks around not noticing and fully enjoying the love that you do have in your life. And they even bring this energy of forgiveness towards yourself and others to free your heart. And this beautiful wave of light now fills your heart into overflow of self-love. Love for yourself, love for others, love for the divine, love for your life, appreciation and gratitude. Such beautiful love fills you, your entire heart, giving and receiving love with grace and ease. Always being able to pour this love into yourself, and especially all those parts of you that are challenging to love sometimes. The goddesses fill that with extra love. And now this wave of holy love water and light and energy pours into your stomach, your solar plexus chakra, the center of your power, and they're cleansing away any ways in which you feel unworthy of love and valued in your relationships. They cleanse it, they clear it. Beautiful. And now they fill you with sacred self-worth. You are worthy of love in all its forms. Worthy of being loved and honored and valued until this part of you shines in loving confidence and self worth and value. And now the goddesses float down to your sacral chakra and they cleanse any parts of you in your womb that feel any blocks around receiving love, especially that from a beloved, from a romantic partner, from your soulmate, the one that's in your life, the one that you're manifesting, the one that you desire, the one that you're praying for. And they're clearing any blocks to receiving love from your divine king or queen, whatever you desire, your divine masculine king or your queen goddess, your sacred beloved partner and soulmate. You're able to receive and they open up your heart even more to receiving this love from them. And love towards your body temple. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Ah, and now they just fill you with this overflowing divine feminine energy, this beautiful magnetic energy of receiving love, adoration, to be cherished and adored, manifesting your beloved, manifesting your soulmate, or elevating the love that you have. And now they flow this divine love into your root chakra at the base of your spine flowing through your legs in any ways in which you feel unsafe to be loved or to love any fears from past experiences any parts of you that feel that love isn't safe they're now clearing washing away and they now fill you with such divine love at the deepest level of your root that you know that love is safe and sacred that it is safe for you to love and be loved and this part of you shines now and now your entire body, your entire being overflows with this infinite love. And the goddesses guide you to the sacred ocean shore. And they ask if you have any questions about how to love yourself more deeply. They give you an answer into your heart, receive it. They adorn you in a beautiful gown worthy of the goddess that you are. They're so proud of you for embodying your inner goddess, for activating your inner love goddess. Your divine feminine Shakti, your divine feminine beauty and energy and they share that you are a love goddess and you are a goddess and you are an embodiment of the goddess. You are one with them as they are one with you. Infinitely loved and you are infinite love. They hug you, they bless you and they give you a beautiful gift to serve as a symbol of this journey of awakening your self-love, activating it more deeply. And they're so proud of you and they're celebrating you. And they now place you in your bubble of light and float you back through the inner realms, coming back into this realm gently placing one hand on your heart, one on your womb, maybe making some beautiful movements like an ocean wave or anything that feels good to you, wiggling your toes and slowly and gently feeling all this love from you overflowing. Open your eyes and come fully back, beloved. Ah, I hope you feel like the goddess that you are. It's been my joy to take you on this love goddess meditation. I would so love for you to share this with all your beloveds because we could all deepen our self-love and receive more love. And I would love to shower you with more loving gifts. Visit me at flourishinggoddess.com. Join me in my newsletter so I can give you beautiful, beautiful goddess gifts. I'm Saima, and it's been such a delight to take you on this journey. You are a goddess. 
flourishing goddess. So much love, beloved. Namaste. <sighs> Welcome back, beautiful goddess. I hope you are overflowing with love in all its forms. So please share with me in the comments how you're feeling, how you found this meditation. And I would love for you to mark down the date, your day one. And if you're going to practice this for 40 days, come back in 40 days and let me know if you're embodying and feeling love, self-love, divine love, romantic love, whatever you are wanting to cultivate more deeply, let me know how practicing this meditation every day for 40 days supported you. Okay, I would love to celebrate you. And we have a beautiful community here. Of course, I always appreciate your likes and your subscribes and you sharing this because we want everyone to experience self-love and all sisters, all women to be flourishing goddesses. Um, and I would love for you to actually visit me at flourishinggoddess.com, my website. Sign up to my newsletter where I give you more free meditations and video trainings that I share only with my beloved newsletter subscribers. So visit me there. Um, I have my book, Goddess Reclaimed, if you want to go deeper with the goddesses. I offer monthly goddess circles and very, very, very deep transformational uh, group programs if you want to go at the deepest, highest level for true transformation. So those are available sometimes and sometimes there's a wait list. But there's many different ways to connect and lots of videos here on YouTube that I hope continue to support you. Most of all, you know, as I celebrate my birthday, I want you to know I'm so grateful for you. Uh, I just feel so, so, so blessed that I get to live a life where I get to serve you. You know, it was not easy for me in my journey to embody self-love. I had a lot of trauma, a lot of depression, a lot of self-loathing, and, and um, a lot, a lot of pain and darkness uh, for a lot of my early part of my life. And so it was a long journey to get to this. And I know if I can do it, you can do it. This is why I do what I do. And this is why I love to share these free gifts with you that I hope empower and support you. So thank you so much for receiving. And I already see you as a beloved child of God goddess and the expression and embodiment and source of love itself. And I see love flowing back to you in infinite waves. And I'm sending you infinite love. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Mwah. Namaste. <laughs>